Welcome to the Meadows Museum. I am Carol Stacy, a docent at the Meadows, and today we are going to look at this beautiful painting, Portrait of a Lady, by the 19th century Spanish portrait painter Ramundo Madrazo y Garreta. Enjoy looking at the painting while I tell you something about the painter. Raimundo Madrazo was the son, grandson, nephew, brother, and brother-in-law of well-known painters. He was born in 1841 on July 24th, possibly in Rome. He lived in Spain and then in France, and he died in 1920 in France. The Madrazo family was an artistic powerhouse, and Raimundo was the most famous of them all. His grandfather, who had been director of the Prado Museum, was his first teacher. His father and his brothers were painters, and his sister married the painter Mariano Fortuni, whose two paintings of beach scenes are here at the Meadows. Madrazo also had shows in the United States as well as in Europe, and he was famous for portraits and for paintings of beautiful women in beautiful settings. Madrazo's favorite model was Aline Masson. She was the daughter of the doorman at a home in Paris where the artists often met. She had beautiful, luminous skin, large eyes, and he painted her in various settings over a period of 15 years. She is possibly the model in our Meadows painting Portrait of a Lady, which we are looking at now. She was his muse. Madrazo did not give our painting this title, but the title is accurate. It is a portrait, and it is the portrait of a lady. But this is not the usual portrait. In most portraits, the sitter looks at the viewer and reveals herself to us, but not here. This lady is not looking at us. We're looking at her. We are intruding on a quiet moment. Does she know we are looking at her? We are seeing her in her privacy, reading, perhaps at home. The light is soft on her face and dress. Is she sitting near a window? Notice the fabric. Madrazo paints it so that we know exactly how it would feel if we could touch it. Look how the light plays on the fabric, which has bits of white and even little pieces of blue and shadows near the neck. She has on lipstick and she wears her hair up. She has on delicate earrings. Her eyes are half closed as she is looking down. She is stirring tea in an orange-red cup that picks up the color of her lipstick while she looks at a publication, L'Argent, which was written by Emile Sola in 1890-91. The background is plain in the dark. What does Madrasa want us to see? First, he wants us to see beauty, the beauty of the woman, of her creamy skin, of her repose. He wants us to see the beauty of her clothing, the delicate color, the feel of the ruffles in the fabric. He wants us to know something about her. She likes quiet time with her tea, and she reads the most current novel. Our model is up to date. She dresses in rich fabrics. She has on gold earrings, and she reads a novel whose title in English is Money. The theme of the novel is making money and being rich, and perhaps our model is interested in the good life. Our model conveys a quiet, thoughtful contrast to the frivolous Paris of 1890. When you visit the meadows, look for Our Lady. Look also for Madrazo's self-portrait, which is often hung nearby. He is such a serious, distinguished-looking painter. He had the family legacy on his shoulders, but he had a beautiful muse to show him beauty. Thank you for visiting us today, and we look forward to seeing you again in the Meadows Museum.